Hello my YouTube fam. I am here today to give you guys a BSG update. Okay, yes. First I wanna address something really quick. Yes, I'm in the same sweater as I was last week. I look like a hot mess. My hair is wet because I got just got out of the shower. But that's okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm here to give you guys an update. So I leave it for Tijuana, Mexico to get my surgery done at Eagle Light. If you have not seen my previous video, um, in six days, woo! Surgery's in seven. I'm Loki freaking the F out, okay? Loki. Just throwing that out there. Um, I just wanted to kind of give you guys, like, what I'm doing, how I'm feeling, and what to expect in upcoming videos now that we're getting closer and closer. Okay, so first off, I didn't do so well in my pre-op diet. You know, obviously I have a food addiction. I just really, the thought that I would never be able to have certain things, or I mean, I would, it's not that I'll never be able to have them, but I can them for a long time. I went ahead and just ate not all not everything and I didn't like super duper overindulge or anything and I was like really good until my husband came home and so like at least once a day I failed in some way of in my eating. I did not drink coffee and I did not have soda though. So I'm giving myself grace on that one. Because those are my two biggest things. And I didn't have diet soda and have regular coffee. I had decaf, but I did not have regular coffee. So I'm going to need some brownie points for that. Yes, I, I ate in and out last night. So it's my last meal. In and out. That's okay. <laughs> Anyways, so because of my bloop, my mess up, my little bump in the road, um, I am choosing, because I need to shrink my liver as much as possible so that way I can still have my surgery, which my doctor said I still can as long as I follow my three days super strict. So with that said, today, Monday, I get my surgery in seven days. I decided that I am going to do um, a mainly liquid diet and only eat dinner, um, just meat and vegetables at night for this next week. Um, and then just be on liquids all throughout the day and just allow myself that because, so that way I can take a bulk of my vitamins at night um, and have that in my tummy. Some of my vitamins I have to have food with and I can't miss them this early because I really need them. On top of that, my cycle is starting, which means my iron's gonna drop, which I've worked so hard to get it up and I was hoping. So I got my birth control moved in August. So September, my periods were wonky and I thought that like, because I'm tracking it, I'm like, maybe, just maybe, I had a feeling it was coming. But I was just like, maybe, you know, like when you enter it in your little calendar, maybe I'll be lucky and it will actually come after my surgery. It didn't. It didn't. It was fine. And I had a feeling it would either come now or come then. So, it came now. So now I am going to be trying to eat lots of leafy greens at dinner time. So I'm going to saute spinach and I'm going to be taking my supplements a little more. So I used to be on iron three times a day, vitamin C three times a day, and folic acid once a day after my C-section because I'd lost so much blood and I became super anemic after that, like very, very anemic. So now that I know that, and I know that I'm having a surgery ahead of time, I quit the coffee that will help with bleeding and blood loss. And then um, I've also, I've been taking my iron, my vitamin C for like the past two weeks. I may have skipped a day here or there, but now I'm taking it twice a day um, along with the stool softener <laughs> to make sure that I'm upping my iron and I also last week um, ate a lot of bell peppers to try to get a lot of vitamin C to help me absorb that iron and I'm not taking I'm taking my calcium separate and things like that so um, I'm trying really hard to make sure that there's no bumps in the road with the surgery um, because like my biggest fear is getting there and them telling me I can't have it. Um, okay, wait just a minute. The dog ate his sandwich. 
<laughs> Sorry guys, this is mom life. I have four kids. One, the baby's napping, the other three are outside. That's why I'm sitting here, because I have two windows where I can watch them and still be inside. Um, yeah, so I get low on iron. I know that, I'm trying to like really fill up on iron because I don't want a blood transfusion. Um, I just, I don't want there to be anything, like, I, extra. I don't, I don't have a lot of money <laughs> to go down. Like, that would be, like, all my money. Um, if I had to get one of those, because it's, like, $500 or, like, my gallbladder and things like that. So I've been just, like, kind of babying, um, those things to try to make sure that I'm good to go. Today I do my COVID test. Fingers crossed that comes back negative because I can't go if it comes up positive. So, I... I'm like a little low-key stressed, but I have that today at 3. I'm actually going to be leaving shortly after I film, finish this, um, and get it edited, which isn't much because these are like sit-down vlog style, so I'm not really going to cut anything out because I'm, uh, I like to show you guys the real life, real, like I said in my last video, I think, the real, real. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting nervous, but I'm also excited. Um, I also wanted to tell you guys... I want to make his like mean muggy mean because the dog ate his sandwich because he probably set it down on his little picnic table and the little uh, Kira took full advantage of that. So anyways, side note, some upcoming videos that you could be expecting are the next one is going to be what's in my hospital bag. Um, I already have it mainly packed, but then like I'm going to be like taking everything out and going over and just like you know, doing the double checklist. So, what's in my ho what's in my bag? Not really my hospital bag. What's in my bag? My trip back to Mexico to get BSG surgery, and then I'm gonna have um, uh, my liquid. I might be doing my liquid phase. I might be filming it over the course of three days and then posting it. I don't know, but I will be having pieces of my journey to Mexico during everything like anytime I can pull out my camera and film a little bit I'm gonna try my best and I'm gonna try to compose like a little like what my trip was like for you guys and then when I get back home uh, prop I get home Thursday so probably Friday I'll film and I might even post it Friday it just depends on how I feel um, I'm gonna do like my go light review of everything and then uh, you guys actually Probably Friday I'll be filming my trip and then or uploading my trip and then I'll film but I probably won't post until like Sunday. Um my review of the place that I went and just the whole team and everything I'm gonna give you guys the good, the bad, the ugly, whatever. I'm hoping it's only good. Nothing bad, nothing ugly. <laughs> Anyways, so um yeah, so that's a video that's going to be coming up, and then after that, I'm going to be doing weekly updates, and I'm going to be doing, um, once I get to the puree stage, I'm going to do meal prepping for puree, and all that good stuff, so just stay tuned, please like and subscribe, it's going to help this small little YouTube channel grow, and um, I'm trying really hard to grow it, so I'm trying to show up a little bit more consistently. All my other videos were just like random things that I put up here. Um, but I really want, I really want, the, especially with this VSG journey, when I was researching it, I didn't see like, most of the stuff was like two or three years ago. Like I couldn't find any like really current, like this a month or two ago of like people doing this. So I really wanted to put that out there for everybody um, to have. So I really hope that you guys Follow me on this journey, um, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see when I'm posting and all that good stuff, you guys. Um, just thank you so much for all of your love and all of your support. I'm nervous to do this, but I'm so ready. I also might be, between now and my hospital bag, I might be um, doing a video about my food addiction and things like that and just telling you kind of like what really truly led me to this point and how much I struggled with weight so you guys can kind of get an idea um, this is in no way shape or form an easy fix and I just want everybody to know that 
I'm about, it makes me emotional, but I'm about to embark the hardest thing I've ever done. And, you know, I used to be a smoker and I gave up smoking and a drinker and like all kinds of things. I've gone through so many addictions, but the hardest one so far is food because I have to have it. I have to eat. Like I've been anorexic and I still had to eat a little bit to like not be sick. And that's something too, is I have, um, two different extreme eating disorders. So binge eating, I, I've purged and I've also restricted myself so much where I was anorexic, but that's a whole other video guys. Um, that was before I ever had kids and stuff, but, um, I think I might make a video talking more about like maybe a draw my life food addiction style. Um, or like the girl style. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, but I think I'm going to do that. And then, um, I know a few people that I'm a caregiver. So I, sometimes I go to facilities with other caregivers and like we get to talking and stuff. And a lot of them really want me to talk about my life, like my past and like present and like all the things that I've been through because I've been through some really crazy stuff that most people never in a million years would ever experience. Um, and they always tell me anytime like people hear like stories of like my childhood and stuff, they're like, oh my gosh, you could write a book. But I think I'm going to do a vlog style of it. I think it'd be kind of cool. Anyways, off subject. I hope you guys are all having a blessed day. Please stay tuned to my channel. I know I just blabbered and went on and on, but stay tuned and, um, just please show me all the support that you can. This is really scary for me, guys. Um, and I hope that this journey might motivate somebody else who's in a similar situation. Sick and tired of being sick and tired and fat. Anyways, peace, love, rock and roll.